Look, as soon as this trial is over with, there's going to be nothing to keep Greenlee and I in each other's orbits anymore. So. Um, okay, well, are you sure about that? Yes, I am sure about that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see each other. Of course, we're gonna see each other. You know, because we're friends. But it's not gonna be like this anymore. It's not. It can't. It can't be this intense anymore. And it won't be. All right, but you and Greenlee just casually bumping into each other at restaurants, right? That that's not gonna happen. This is you and Greenlee we're talking okay, about. Okay. Do you do you realize that when she first came back to Pine Valley, that I tried everything in my power to convince her that we belong together, everything, and nothing worked. Okay. Well, a lot has happened since then. Mm-hmm. Including Madison. Okay, so now you just forget about Greenlee? No, I don't forget about Greenlee. I could never forget about Greenlee. That's, that's the point, but it just doesn't work. It doesn't. It can't. Somebody always gets hurt. Something always goes wrong. It's not right, Kendall. And, and, and Madison is right. At least, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be right. But it's so new, Ryan. I know it's new. It's great. It's new. It's exciting. It's, it's. I don't know. Even, I don't think I've ever been in a relationship that has been this easy and and this sort of smooth and fun and no drama, no roller coaster ride. That's exhausting. This I like. I like this. Okay. I like Madison a lot. So when the trial is over, then, we're, I'm, you know, Greenlee and I are going to go our separate ways. That's it. That's that's what has to be. That's what she wants. That's that's what I want. So did you ask me this because you're actually curious or um, because you're, you know, taking sides? No, no, I'm, I'm not taking any sides. I just want you to be happy. Both of you. Aren't you proud your daughter made the front page? I showed it to you so that you would know what the media is saying about you. That's important. Really, elsewhere in that rag, they call you the Green Widow. Say you were after David's money. I have my own money. I know that. And you know that. But these papers aren't in the business of telling the truth. They're in the business of selling papers. And the story that's got these papers flying off the rack right now is you and Ryan. There is no me and Ryan. Well, there are a lot of potential jurors out there who think there is. A lot of people haven't forgotten Ryan at all. And they think he just may be the man who loved you so much that he would kill for you. I'm done listening to this. You're trying very hard to keep Ryan out of the picture. He's already in. We should be smart. Use this to our advantage. This conversation is over. I told you what I want. Respect that. But I do need your advice on something. And what would that be? If you were an accused murderer hiding from the media, where would you sleep tonight? I have an answer for that. I don't think you're going to like it very much. I'm not who I've seen to be these faces. Oh, sorry. No. Sorry. I, sorry, I didn't no. see you there. It's okay. I, but I've seen you. Uh, I think I remember seeing Erica Kane. Uh, no, I mean at, at Wild Wind. Um, Caleb Cortland was having an argument with somebody, and I just saw him for a split second as he ran away, but that was you, wasn't it? What's your name? Asher. Asher? Oh, I love that name. That's like my favorite Asher cut <laughs> I remember that name. <laughs> well, so I guess I came to your rescue when I drove up to Wildman in my car. <laughs> I, I, I actually gotta go. Oh, please, no, not, not so fast. What's your story? Uh, do you have a problem with Caleb Portland? I actually work for his competitor. J.R. Chandler. Yeah, I started a few weeks ago. Well, then you work for my competitor, too. Because Caleb Cortland and I are partners. Well, it's too bad for you, because your partner is one phony son of a bitch. What were you guys talking about? The less you know, the better. J.R.? You wanted me to work for this company. If something's going on, I'm a part of it. Not if I can help it. I am so mad at you for letting her destroy this family. No. Let her finish. But I love you. And I love this family. And I don't want it to fall apart. So if it's something is wrong, maybe I can help. This is about business. 
other stuff. No, you're wrong. It's all about other stuff because look at her. She is in the middle of it again. She has ruined and destroyed No, nothing everything. is ruined yet. I have phone calls to make. Don't bother. There's nothing you can say that's going to make me feel any worse than I already do. But I would really like to give it a shot. Chandler is my birthright. So why don't you go back to doing what you're good at, being Stuart's son. The nice guy with all the nice shiny goals. I promise to be by your side. To be your, your partner and your lover and your best friend. No more lies. Yes, you can trust me too. been proud of you and I always will be. Dad? How can you be proud of me after what I've done? I'm so sorry, Dad. I've been watching Adam for years. <laughs> And, 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 uh, and JR, too. And, and when it comes to that company, they're mean. I mean, I mean, really mean. Trust me, okay? No way am I gonna change. But if I get this gig, Chandler Enterprises will. Right now, the Chandler name represents greed. The bottom line. I want it to represent us. What we stand for. Yeah, can, can you really do that? And I will. Not just for me. But for you, too. <laughs> yeah. uh. Not just for me. I'm really sick of your act. Poor, pathetic Annie, always a victim. I didn't buy it then, and I still don't. I'm not looking for sympathy here. Good. Because you're not going to get it from me. I have no one to blame but myself. And I will for the rest of my life. But I want you to understand something. My daughter is my priority. She is an innocent little girl and I don't want her getting hurt in all of this. I don't want her getting confused or scared. So attack me all you want. But just remember, I have a daughter to protect. That's really nice. But I don't really know why you're telling me this. I mean, shouldn't you tell this crap to Scott, or is it JR? Scott's my husband, and I've broken his heart. Well, let's just hope he has the sense to throw you out and tell you never to come back. I got it. I got it. I'm going to go upstairs. Special delivery. I got time for your games. Neither do I. I filed a motion giving Marissa full custody of AJ pending the settlement of your divorce. And, um... Granted. Well, that sounds personal. You say it's personal. Well, the words that just came out of your mouth and the, and the look in your eyes. I'm going to guess that J.R. Chandler is really feeding you a lot of lies to get you to hate Caleb. Because there's really a lot about that man that you don't know. Is that right? Look, I'll be honest with you. I didn't get along with him either, not to begin with. I mean, he's gruff and he's stubborn, but he has a heart. And his priority is really his family. And how would you know that? 
Well, his uncle Palmer Cortland recently passed away and asked Caleb if he would fulfill his last wishes here in Pine Valley. Now, Caleb could have walked away, but he didn't. He stayed because he understands the value of family loyalty. Why are we talking about this guy? Look, I've known J.R. Chandler for a very, very long time, and I know that he doesn't trust most people very easily. So if he has taken you into his confidence, he must really think there's something very special about you. Right place, right time. Pretty much it. Oh, no. I'm sure there's much more to it than that. <laughs> I mean it. I can see you're a very smart young man. I'm sure you're smart enough to recognize a good deal when you see one. Despite the things that J.R. has been telling you, please believe me. J.R. is the bad guy here, not Caleb. Back to him again. The Chandlers stole things that don't belong to them. So, you could continue working for the thieves, end up in jail yourself. Or... If you brought us information, any information at all, you'd find yourself very handsomely rewarded. Working for Caleb. Yeah. No reward is worth that. Jack? Jack, are you home? I've had the most exhausting day. Sounds like someone needs a hug.